One time there was a brother who was very committed to Salah, very committed. I, I'm a witness to this. A blizzard, thunderstorm back in Canada. He always comes to the masjid. Wonderful brother, mashallah. I would drive sometimes, see him on the sidewalk, I'll go pick him up. He has no car, no bus pass, no bike, nothing. All of a sudden the brother stopped showing up to the masjid. I go to his house, knock on the door, and he opens the door. I say, Salaamu Alaikum. Then he curses. He's like, what the, he mentions, do you want? I'm really confused. Very dedicated person committed to the masjid and that's your response is wajib. Saying salam is sunnah. Responding is an obligation. Don't tell me I hate that brother, I have issues. No, no issues. When you say salam, you have to respond back. May Allah allow us to follow the sunnah. Amir Rabbil Alameen. Then he said, um, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, I came to check on you. Are you, you were absent for a week from the masjid or so. He's like, I'm healthy, I'm standing, now move on in life. I'm like, I'm not moving on until they tell me what's wrong with you. Because we're a little close, so I can have, you know, subjective. Back and forth, back and forth. He's like, okay, come here. So I go to his house. What's your story? He said, you know how dedicated I am to the masjid? Yes or no? I'm like, yes, I admit to that. He's like, I come to the masjid regardless of the weather. I have no bike. I walk every single time. I'm like, Allah's my witness. Yes, I do believe that. And I personally pick you up. Yes, I know. But what's the problem? Why you stop coming to the masjid? What's wrong with your attitude? He said, I've been coming to the masjid for the past nine months, making all kinds of different dua. All kinds of different dua. This dua, this dua, that dua, that dua, this dua. Not a single one of them was accepted. Why should I worship him? And this is a high school student. May Allah protect us from overzealousness with no knowledge. So there's a lot of things you can tell that, but there's a lot. But part of that conclusion with this hadith, I told him, haven't you heard the hadith of Rasulullah Whenever you make dua to Allah, one of three things happen. Number one, Rasulullah says, if you ever ask Allah for something, either Allah will give you what you ask for. So your dua goes up, Whatever you ask for it comes down. Or number two, Allah Al Hakim, the All Wise, knows whatever you ask for is not good for you. So your dua goes up, but no blessing goes down. But your dua goes up and blocks, blocks a hardship or a calamity that was about to fall upon you. The third is that your dua goes up and stays there, and then transforms into hasanat on your skill Yom Al Qiyam. The Sahaba heard this win, win, win situation. They said, then we will never stop making dua. Look how they behaved. If that's the case, they know for a fact Allah will respond. But how? I don't know. But you know Allah will respond to it. Whether the Prophet say, shame on you, don't have the attitude of always making dua. No. He said, Allahu Akthar. Allah is more generous. Yes, you should have this attitude. Always make dua. Now the question, which one of the three is best? The best one of the three is whatever Allah sees best for you.